Hello and welcome to this video where we will look at how to create a shrinking data validation list using the dynamic array formulas with Microsoft 365. In this example, I have a table of workers and then I have another table of chores. I would like a drop down list so that I can assign my workers to these chores and as I do so, the list will shrink so that I know which workers are remaining. So first of all, we need some kind of logic so that we can figure out whether a worker has been assigned a task already or not. And for this, I'm going to use the count if function, a fabulous function. Let's put in some sample data. I will come and assign Axel Foley to a task. Let's do some dusting, Axel. And now in cell G2, I'm going to write a count if function to count the occurrences of those workers in the chores table and I will begin the count if function. So equals count if, open bracket. The range is going to be the this week column in the chores table, comma, and the criteria, I will select the workers table. Close off that bracket and press enter. And I can see a number one for Axel Foley. So Axel occurs in the chores list once, everybody else is zero. Now that is useful because now I can target the zeros. Those that don't occur, provide them in the list. So now let's change those ones and zeros to trues and falses. In that first cell, because this is a dynamic array formula, so it only exists in that first cell, on the end of the formula, if I type equals zero and press enter, we now have trues where there was a zero and false where there was not. Now we're going to wrap a filter function around it all to filter the list of workers for only those where it's true. So back to that first cell, we'll wrap the filter function around it to filter the array, which is the workers table, comma, and what to include is the count if function and that logical expression that we have already written. So on the end, I'm going to close my bracket off and press enter. And now I only have six names because Axel has been filtered out. Let's see this in action. If I go and select Ellen Ripley, and Ellen can shine shoes, she disappears from the names on the right. If I assign Sarah Connor to wash dishes, disappears from our list. So this is working, although we don't have a drop down list yet. So I'm now going to select the this week column of the chores table data validation, create a list, and for the source, it'll be equals G2, and then the hashtag for that spill reference, that dynamic reference to that array. If I click OK, now I have a drop down list for easy selection. For cooking, if I get John McLean to do cooking, disappears from the list on the right, and our drop down list is constantly shrinking to only show the workers available. So a really cool technique. Just to finish this off one more time, it would be good if the names on the right were sorted in order. At the moment, they are actually in order. But if I remove Axel from this list, now you can see Axel is the third name. So that list is not actually being sorted. So back to the first formula, 
and we will wrap another dynamic array function called sort around what we have, close bracket on the end. So it also puts those names in order, no matter how they're entered into the workers table. If I use my drop down again, here we go, Marty McFly disappearing from the list. So that is using the new dynamic array formulas and the brilliant filter and sort functions along with a classic count if to create a shrinking drop down list. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please click the subscribe button in the corner to be notified about the latest Excel goodness coming from this channel. I hope to see you soon.